loads that I can put on my trucks. Well, I heard of one down the Mill Creek Bridge. On the southbound lane of the Mill Creek Bridge on 15 Iota, they had beams that were similar to that. And so I went down and I took some pictures of a couple trailers that were sitting there with those beams on it. Alright. So I tried to find the beam, and I couldn't do it. And one time at Dickens over Christmas up in St. Paul's with a radio, or with a train show, I was looking around up there, but there was nothing that was stock that would even come close to it. And so there's one little table set up, and it was Dr. Daryl Pounds. And so we got talking about it, and he said, well, I can, I'll build you one. So I called Joe Miller, he was a project engineer for high steel down in Newbury section of Innisfil. And so I went down and I talked to her, and she gave me the specs for one of those beams. I didn't find out is how much it weighs. But it's 133 foot long. Now I never saw them when they come out of Williamsport with that. But that would have been interesting to see how they negotiated some of that stuff. High Steel had, they ran all Peterbilt's. <coughs> and you can tell them they're all red and yellow wheels. So if you ever see a truck on a highway, all in steel, it's a high steel. And so the only thing is Dr. Townsend, he didn't charge me really very much for this truck. But he said a buyer or seller they know who bought it or who built it. But I just have to share that that, that beam 